Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a stat system and stuff. So before we get into the video, y'all already know what's up. Um, Links to my Roblox group in uh, Discord is in the description. You can join the Discord to get help with scripting related things. That just general Roblox dev related things. You can join, uh, see just ideas, like video ideas, because video ideas are greatly appreciated. Or just general suggestions for the channel and stuff like that. You can just join to just talk and chill with people, be supportive, or whatever. But yeah, though. What's the calling the to video? All right, so I'm showing you showing you guys how to make a stats thing. Uh, I just want to go ahead and apologize if I'm well. No, I can't make any mistakes because I already wrote the scripts. But like, if I sound like a little bit like confused or just like I just don't sound like I'm making a lot of sense stuff, I apologize. Like I'm looking tired right now. But anyway, all right, so let's get into the video. Okay, so first things first. Uh, it's again one of those videos. Like I'm just letting y'all know when I have like the big tutorials and stuff where it's like intermediate to advanced level like uh things that we're making and stuff like that i'm probably just have it already typed out because it's like yeah i could type it out with y'all but it's like it would really add like an extra 10 minutes for me to really type for me to type and explain it at the same time it would just add an extra like it's just extra time on the video when like to me it's just unneeded i try to make my videos as short as possible so yeah anyway okay so when i don't know to replicate a storage you want to insert a remote event right call this health event Name it health event, and then you want to head over to source script service, and then you want to click, not click, you want to, well, yeah, click. You want to add a service script, and then you can name it stats. And, well, really, you can name this leader stats. Actually, yeah, yeah, just <clears throat> just name it leader stats. The reason why I was named that before was because, uh, th because I made this system for a while ago for someone else like a commission or whatever stuff like that but then i just like i just had to like i just rewrote a whole lot of it and stuff because like i learned a lot more stuff now so i, I know how to make it better but anyway okay so of, so of course we're going to reference our health event so we'll, we'll make two variables first is the health event replicate storage then of course we're going to we're going to get right and get our stats data store we created our stats data store i did mine stats one because I have a um, what's it called? Because keep in mind, data stores do not delete. You cannot delete a data store. You can remove a player's data from a data store, but you cannot delete a data store. So when I did stats data store before, it like glitched with like a previous script I had before that like saved uh, data under the same name. So anyway, mine is just called stats one data store. But yeah. Anyway, so then then I'm not gonna say everything, but just you guys get it. I'm, I have my variables here, stats info is where all my uh, stats are gonna go into. We have our health, the amount of health the player has. Of course, we start off with 100 as that's the uh, default. If you wanna have a diff, I don't know if your game has like 150, 50, whatever. Just change that to whatever and stuff like that, like whatever your default health is. Yeah, then you have your points. You start off with and majority of games you start off with like three points. Like majority of like RPG RPG games you start off with like three points. You can put into like skill sets and stuff like that so yeah then xp of course we have zero xp well actually for this video i didn't really, i didn't really need to include xp or level yeah there's not really a point but well anyway it doesn't matter um yeah and then we have levels and stuff and then you can put if you start at level zero level one whatever then the amount of xp needed for you to level up the amount of money you have and then agility agility is pretty much speed I probably should just rename that to speed, but anyway, yeah, that's speed, and then it's set to 16 because that's the default Roblox walk speed. But again, if you have a if you have a different Roblox, like if you have a different uh, default set speed for your game, change it to whatever you like. Then of course we're gonna we're gonna make a ver two variables, our key, and then our stats data. We're gonna get uh, get async, and then if the game detects if the script, I should say, detects any data, then we're gonna set all of our values to the specific uh, stat data stuff so it matches. So our values match up, I should say. And then we're setting the player's health so that their health matches whatever their health is inside of their health uh, stats data, depending on what value that is. And then we're setting the max health to whatever the health is and stuff like that. Because, you know, you can't, like, if you have max health 100, you can't add, like, you can't have 101 health. Like, it can't, pretty much your health cannot go over your max health. So you would need to continuously update your max health before updating your actual health, if that makes sense. So, yeah. And then we have, of course, our data saving. When a player leaves, we're setting a sync. And then, as you guys can see, we we are setting all of the values and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a lot of stats. A lot of stats. I'm gonna stay here just for a second to so just give people time and stuff. I mean, the scripts will be in the description, but yeah, in case you're just following along. But anyway, and lastly, 
you have health health event and stuff like that this is what this event fires when a person tries to add health uh what's it called it changes the amount of health uh like it says on the ui and stuff it'll update its value to whatever it is, however much health you have like if you add plus one when you have 100 health then it'll update to 101 then this is the amount of available points you have which is the amount of available points you can spend and agility and yeah pretty much it'll update uh regardless of whatever even if, if you increase health or agility it wouldn't really matter since it only updates to whatever you currently have so if nothing happens then it would just keep stay the same if that makes sense but yeah though so that's leader stat script so then we don't have a start gui um here's my stats gui and stuff what oh wait hold on wrong thing here's my stats uh ui and stuff is some slight some slight you know oh what's it called here's my stats ui and stuff like that right so I have a stats uh, GUI up here script and stuff like that where like if the player uh, clicks M because you know M is like a menu menu key then it was called it fires the remote event so that was to call so that it knows to update the uh, data within the UI and stuff that displays their agility amount of agility they have their health their uh, available points and stuff and then it sets it to visible so yeah and then we have our stats frame which has our add agility agility stats and add help stats so here add agility stats i mean these two are pretty much the, sta the same script just like one's adding agility and one's adding health they're pretty much the same thing like if you have an like if you have one or more point then uh what's it called like for this for adding agility your agility will increase by one which pretty much translates to you your speed will increase by one Again, you can change the health and speed if you want to increase it by 5, 10, completely up to you, or 0 0.1, 0 0.001, whatever, completely, completely up to you. And then it takes, of course, subtracts a point, then it updates the amount of agility and available points you have, and vice versa here. The only, the only added on uh, thing in the script is uh, what's it called? that it changes your max health and health, because obviously you're updating your health and stuff like that, so yeah. And then here we just have the close script, which literally, like, when you just click the red X, it just closes. It just closes. But yeah. Uh, yeah, that's way away. No, 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 hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, there we go, there we go. Uh, what? Health event is not found on replicated storage. That's weird. That's weird, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Um, maybe I wonder if it needs. Might be. I need to wait for child. Now, if it works now, then it just means it needs to wait. If that's the case, then okay, yeah, yeah. Y'all just change that to wait for child then. Oh, but now once talk about infinite yield, it's possible. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Anyway, uh, yeah, though. So you could just change that to. I mean, you should be able to keep it the same. Like you should need to put wait for child. It should still work. Usually remote events don't do that, but if it does, but if it does uh, give you an error like it can't see it, then just do wait for child and stuff. But anyway, uh, what's it called? So if I click M, my that's why should appear. I don't know why it's not working. That's weird. Uh, hold on. That's weird. Okay, let me do this and then. Health event is not a valid number of replicated. I'm so confused right now, guys. Wait, where's the. What the. It's literally disap. What the fuck? It's literally disappearing. That's crazy. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see something real quick. That is so weird. What the fuck? Why is it disappear? Mm, uh, let's try deleting it. Oh, hold on, guys. I, I have no idea what the fuck. Like, literally, I tested it. Like, I test everything before I record a video. That is so weird. I don't know. I don't know why it's doing that. Well, like, it, like, disappears. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. We can't see. No, it's still dis. What the fuck? What? I'm s Guys, I'm so confused right now. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why it keeps deleting my remote, my remote event. That's the weirdest thing. Wait. I apologize. I just want to say that. Wait.
Um, hmm. Let's think. Let's think. Hmm. Why does it? Wait. Hold on, guys. Let me see. If I delete this and then click play, that's so weird. And then it's still delete. What the fuck? That is so weird. Yeah, guys, I have no idea. I have literally, I have no idea why it's doing that. To be honest with y'all, I have literally no idea why it's doing that. It doesn't make any type of sense why it's deleting it. I don't get why it would. Mm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Mm. My fault for holding y'all up. I don't want to end the video because it's like I've already, I've literally gone through everything with y'all. So it's like, like I've literally gone through like I've explained everything for some weird reason. It's just not like I genuinely don't know why it's not working. Um. Hmm. Okay. Hold on. I'm just like going out of studio because like I I'm being honest with y'all. I have like never ever like I have never seen this before. I've never seen this before. I've never seen a remote event like disappear. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know. What the? Now it's just what the? Okay, hold on. Let's see. Let's type health event. Let's see if it works this time. Okay, there. Guys, I have no, I genuinely have no idea what just happened. Okay. Uh, okay, there we go. All right, our health is here. All right, okay. I don't even know. I can't, I, I mean, I'll say my bad, but honestly, I, I think that was a, like a Roblox error. I guess I've never seen that before. But anyway, okay. So my health is set here. If I add plus one to my health, my health increases 0. 0.100 to 1. Available points goes down to 2. And then I gain one health. Now if I increase agility, pay attention to walk speed, then, and I forgot something. What did I forget, player? Um, oh, I forgot to change the name of these. Player, player GUI, okay, yeah. Make sure you fix it. Well, actually, just look, just look in the description, just look in the description, because I'll have the actual working script, okay. Now if we test it. Now if I add it. Okay. And I forgot. Guys, I'm so oh wait. Oh wait, I know why, I know why. It's cause I uh what's it called? I exited out without uh publishing, so I th I think I th yeah, I think that's why. Um okay, okay. I think we're good now. We should be good, we should be good. We, like there should be Sure, no errors. To, well, I already increased my agility. Okay, the point is, yeah, it works. That's the point. The system does work and stuff like that. So yeah, I apologize for the long waits, the delay and stuff. I don't know what was going on with the remote events. The that part just now was my fault, but to be honest, it kind of was the remote events fault since like that caused me to leave. But anyway, I have the scripts in the description, and they should be working and stuff. So you can just check there and stuff. If they don't work, literally just leave me a comment, join the Discord, just ask me for help. I apologize for this long video. I, tried, I wanted to make this short, but it ended up being long. But yeah, though, appreciate the support you guys have been showing. We're almost 200 subscribers. Let's, let's get there and stuff. And yeah, I'll see y'all. Appreciate the support. Don't forget to leave a like if the video was helpful, and I'll see y'all.